Alright guys, there it is. Uh, I'll leave it up on the screen for a few seconds so y'all can get a good look at it. Pause it. So, there's the L1, which would be this guy right here. Okay, and then you have the L2, obviously, which is this guy right here. Alright, and then you got your Torrid, which is this guy right here. Now, a couple of days ago, I went to resolder some of the connections from the Torrid uh, to the L1, I mean the L2, I'm sorry, which is right there that comes up that little red wire. And then I just have it bridged over. Let's see if I can get it focused right so you can see what I'm talking about. But in the process of doing so, um, I must have messed something up because whenever I drive higher than, I want to say, five or so volts. So if you can see all the way to the right, you have zero volts. And this one would demonstrate the max of 15. So 12, 6 o'clock to the red pin is 7.5 volts. So at about 5 volts, if I go any higher than 5 volts, let me turn off this blade in the back. Um, it actually decreases the coil. So look, so I'm back down there. Bump the voltage up about 3 volts, and for bam, I lost some output. So I think it has something to do with uh, what I was messing with with the Torrid. So I'm probably just going to make it another one. But if I drive it higher, it goes back. But as you can see, that was going down, now up, and then it's going to break down. Now I'm going to keep adding voltage, and it does continue to get a little bit brighter. But I, I just think there's some kind of voltage difference within the Torrid itself. Um, that's causing causing something to happen with the resonance of the whole circuit. So, but yeah, promise a schematic. There it is. All right, you can demonstrate. This is a, another a one that I made. Um, all these components here: this particular L1, this particular L2, this particular L2, and this particular. All those parts were um, interchangeable. So basically, I can put this. I believe this was a, an 11 turn coil. I can put this around the base of this coil and I'll get resonance. Um, same thing with this coil. And then I can put this coil on the base of this coil. Um, it's a pretty robust circuit. It seems to drive many different combinations of these types of coils uh, with many different obvious uh, turn differences. I really don't feel like plugging it in now and showing you, but. That's what it is. Um, what else was I going to say? It's pretty important. Oh yeah, back to the whole loss of power thing. If I go back down to, let's say, that's probably about 5 volts right now. Wait. I kicked out of resonance. I definitely need to redesign my Torrid because uh, I think I damaged it I'm trying to fix it. You know that old adage, let well enough be alone? Uh, that definitely applies here. As you can see, I'm getting a pretty wicked spark off the end of the L2 still. Yeah, and that's at. I want to say 9 volts. That's the full 15. So this guy's definitely cranking out. But when I add this guy, uh, it breaks down. So I'll just be making a new toward soon. But you guys wanted the schematic? Here it is. Alright. One last time. Alright, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.